10. A $55 ground mounted vertical multi band antenna from AliExpress be any good? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. And full disclosure here, a couple of weeks ago, um, AliExpress reached out to me and asked if I wanted to have some money to shop for and review some products from AliExpress. And if you don't know what AliExpress is, it's an online marketplace that has any kind of goods you'd like. But for me, AliExpress is primarily interesting for ham radio gear because there's a lot of gear there there's a lot of relatively cheap gear there there's a lot of good gear there and there's a lot of bad gear there so i really want to figure out what what i should recommend to you guys and what i shouldn't recommend what are the great deals on aliexpress so let's for, fast forward a couple of weeks and uh, this box with the ham geek gp2 pro 7 to 54 megahertz portable shortwave antenna arrived in the mail. That's a long name, so we'll just call it the GP2 for now. And I really want to know if this antenna is any good. So let's get out of the car. Let's put the antenna out there. Let, I'm going to let you take a look at the parts. Then I'm going to show you how to set it up, how to tune it for the different bands. And then we're going to see if we can make a couple of parts on the air contacts here. So, uh, with no further ado, let me step out of the car and uh, we'll take a look at the antenna. And since I'm at a park, I don't really have a table or anything to show you, so I'm just going to show you this uh, on a park bench here. So first of all, we have this manual, which is in Chinese only. But it d does give you some guidelines though. It shows some pictures on how to deploy it and everything and most important of all it shows you the approximate length it got to be for every band but i'd recommend you use an antenna analyzer for this so let's put this out of the way Furthermore, we have, uh, and these doesn't come like this, we have four of this ribbon cables actually as uh, the counterpoises, as the radials. And since RF travels on the outside of the cable, um, having a large surface area for your counterpoises is actually pretty smart. Um, I've tried this antenna once more, that's why this is a complete mess and uh, it actually works. Then we have the feed point here, uh, made out of milled aluminum, and it's actually really, really solid, and it's well machined. For the radials, we have these two aluminum bars here. Uh, they go kind of like this, and you connect the radials to the ends here. Uh, it's not the smoothest solution, but I mean, it works, and these are also really well-machined aluminum. And then we have the ground spike here. So let me show you how this goes together. Then you just screw the feed point into the ground spike with the radial bars in between. Spread them out and across and then you just tighten it. Then you have your feed point here. Pretty simple. Let's see what else is in the box. Besides that, we have a coil here for 40 meters. Um, you only use this when you use the antenna for 40 meters. And I forgot to say that, but the coil is also really, really well machined here. Um, same quality as the feed point. 
Then we have a little bit of an extension rod here with M10 fittings in both end and the use is for 40 meters. When you want to use 40 meters, you screw the coil into the top of the extension rod like this. You put the bottom into the feed point and you put the last part which is this five meter whip here. Um, nothing magic about that. It's a five meter whip so it'll be a quarter wave from 20 and up. Also an M10 fitting here and this is actually really well made. Uh, it's the best Chinese five meter whip I've felt and I've tried a couple. I've tried some good ones and I've tried some bad ones but this is actually good quality. So to sum this up from left to right we have the feed point with the ground spike and the bars for the radial net which is well machined. We have the five meter whip which is really well made, uh, really well machined. We have the extension rod with the well machined coil and I gotta say that the only part that isn't up to par here is actually the extension rod. Where everything else is made of really thick and durable aluminum, the extension rod is made of the thinnest aluminum ever made, I think. But it works, so we'll just see in the long run how well this holds up. Then we have the manual, which is in Chinese only, and uh, we have the radials. So let's get this antenna up, put it on an analyzer and see how well it does. set it up and it's uh, set it up for 40 meters now so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the antenna analyzer on it and see how well it is so here's the analyzer and as you probably can see or cannot see I'm gonna try to just get the analyzer so you can see it here uh, we're a little bit too long on 40 well, that's easily fixed. The antenna is fully uh, erected now. So let's just shorten it a little bit and see see how we can do. I hope you can see the antenna analyzer here. If not, you just got to trust me here. So let's shorten the antenna a little bit. And by shortening the antenna, we're at SWR of 1.5 at 7.1 megahertz, which is it's as good as we're gonna get it. Um, the only way we could get this a little bit better is probably by using more radials. And because of the coil, well, there's also a bit of loss in the antenna. And you can see it's a relatively high Q, but actually better than expected. So there we go. This is the SWR at 40 meters, which is perfectly usable. And in order to use this on 20 and up, we got to remove the coil and um, we got to use just the whip and the feed point. So let's go ahead and use that and I'll show you a couple of bands so you can see how this is done. And here is the same same length of the whip as we used on 40 meters, but without the extension rod and the uh, coil. And we're at 122 on 20 meters, so that's good. So let's uh, check out how it performs on, let's say, 15. And uh, after that, I think you'll get the drill on how to tune the antenna. And there you go, 50 meters, 1.11, just by shortening the antenna. And that's actually how you do it in all the bands. Um, you shorten or lengthen it until you get a resonant point. Because this is this is a quarter wave vertical. So, in, well, I probably will repeat myself a little bit, but there's nothing magical to it. It's a quarter wave vertical. 
Um, let's go ahead and set the radio up and make a couple calls. I'm not going to show you many calls. I'm going to show you probably two or three of the best ones, if I can get any. It's 9.30 a.m. It's horrible band conditions, so I'm thinking we're going to start out on 40, where this antenna struggles the most to perform, and then we'll see what happens. So, um... I'm going to set up the radio and we'll give it a go. And just so you've seen this as well, the radio I'm using is the 706 Mark II G. So I'm going to start out on 40 and we'll see what happens. I don't have high hopes for today, but uh, I have already done a parks on the air activation with this antenna. And uh, spoiler alert, it works. And it works actually pretty good. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, do some calls here and see what happens. Golf India Zero Charlie Whiskey Victor Portable is that goes up. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah, you were about a five and five, fifty-five with some QSB here. Over. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, there's a bit of QSB on you as well, so, um, but happy to have you in the log, and uh, I'm happy that I'm able to reach Northern Ireland on a really compromised antenna here. So, uh, thank you for hunting, uh, Gerard73. Bye bye. This is uh, Lima Bravo Zero Fox, North India for Parks and Air. Cure Sierra Papa 3, Golf Tango Sierra. Sierra Papa 3, Golf Tango Sierra. Is that QSL? Yeah, you're 5 and 9. 5 and 9 here in Norway. Over. QSL, uh, good morning. Q59. Thank you. 73. Good luck. So, what do I think about this antenna? Well, first of all, um, I'm just going to say that AliExpress paid for most of this antenna. I paid a little bit of my own money for it. But there are some guidelines I need to follow here. So uh, if you look down below, there's a discount code. And if you want to go ahead, you could always download the AliExpress app. Uh, you can find it on the App Store and on the Google Play Store. So what do I think about this antenna? Well, to be honest, I wasn't too skeptical. I wasn't too skeptical if it would work as an antenna. Because, well... It's basically a quarter wave for every band. It's a ground mounted quarter wave for every band. And I've shown you time and time again and that that concept just works. What I was worried about was the machining quality and the quality of the parts um, and how durable this would be. And I am, I gotta say, I'm really, really pleasantly su surprised. This antenna has machining that's almost to the degree of chameleon. And that is not bad for a Chinese product. That is not bad for any product, except for that extension rod, which is from really cheap and thin aluminum. Everything else is made from really sturdy aluminum. It's machined really well. It screws in and out and will work for years to come. So I'm going to say for $55 or thereabout, there will be a discount code down below. And, but for $55, $60, depending on where you get it from, when you get it. It's a great deal for this antenna. It's about the same, probably a bit less, depending on where you live, that you'll pay for an MFJ 5 meter, 17 foot uh, telescopic pole, uh, telescopic antenna. And this is just as good build wise as that. And there's nothing magical to it. It's, it's a quarter wave vertical. So it's bound to work. So yes, a big thumbs up from me for this antenna. It's a great antenna. It works and it works well. I'm not worried about anything. There are a couple of things. Um, the radial system with the two bars, not really that smooth, but it works. It does its thing. It antennas well. So I'm not going to give it any criticism. I do have a solution for that, and that will come in another video, though. This is about this antenna as it comes stock, and as it comes stock, I can recommend it. On a poor day like this, I ended up with 14 QSOs for Parks and Ear. I wasn't expecting any. And more 
important. I ended up with nine of those on 40 meters, a band I don't usually use on parks in here because it's too much of a hassle to rig it up. But with the extension rod and the coil, 40 meters on this was dead easy. It's not the most efficient antenna on 40, but it works. I got out, I got nine QSOs there, I got five QSOs on, um, on 20 meters all across Europe on a day where bands are dead and at a time of day where 20 isn't really open yet, so I'm happy. Go ahead, if you have the money, I can certainly recommend this antenna. And that's it for now. So to the other part, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, I'd really like that. And if you want to support the channel financially, and if you can't afford to support the channel financially, I got memberships down below. I, I mean, I love all my viewers and I love all my members, but that's only if you can afford it. There are also super chats and Patreons and buy me a coffee. It costs a lot to run a YouTube channel like this. And that's why I accept the, the sponsorship from AliExpress. But I'm still going to be honest about the products. As I said in my cha last channel update, I'm going to be dead honest and say what I really mean about the products. And I love this product. So that's it for now. See you down the bands. See you in my next video. 7-3, my friends.